Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to learn a new feature about Python uh, called args. So let's not get too far into the weeds of what what it really what it is. I'll show you what it does. It's just easier to kind of understand. So okay. So let's just get going on this and be really, really simple. So alright. So right here we are building a function. I'm going to save it, run it. So we call x, we put in yes, uh, lo and behold, the yes comes out. Wow. So it just takes in one thing, does one thing. So now what happens if you go like this, close it, you go I don't know. All right. So when you get more sophisticated, you're going to run into these problems all the time. And it says x takes one positional argument, but two were given. So it says, hey, I was expecting one, because we put one in here, and lo and behold, you gave two. Well, if you really look, you know how like you're on the Weather Channel, or I guess really more specifically, if you're looking up... Uh, ticker symbols on a financial web page it asks for separate them by a comma so let's actually learn how to do that so all right so we're gonna have to build upon our for loop so let's just call them uh, let's just call them nums so all right so what this is the way you understand this is, and the videos that I watched when I was learning this, it was a little crazy and the literature did not really go into it. They called it args for arguments. But what this tells Python right there, that asterisk, it says, hey, we don't know how many we're going to get, but take in as many as you're given and then we'll go through it and I'll build something for you to go through it. So for num in nums so right here this is where we lose this is what we're calling this variable but that means it's going to be a group for nums print out num so let's save this run it so all right so x one three six two four eight so all right so what this does is we said all right Python hey I'm gonna get we're gonna make this functionality say hey I don't know how many we're gonna get but it could be it could be one it could be 30 so right now I want you to take this in and we're just gonna iterate over it and move through it and then print it out and then if we wanted to remember how to do it on one line let's see let's copy this so you can see this and then we'll paste it and we'll comment this out remember how to comment alt 3 All right. so comma end equal sign alright this is how you put things all on one line and we're gonna do a neat drill later about building a triangle of stars all right, so x uh, one four eight two six nine. Now, and this is how we get it all on one line. So, all right. Hope you guys are getting some out of this. This is how you handle args, uh, more than one argument, and this is the way you work through it. Hope you guys are getting something out of this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.